This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi, uh, this is a 42 year old patient with a six and a half diopter of pre-existing astigmatism and posted for surgery. The followers of this channel might remember that a couple of days back I had posted this video of his other eye undergoing the surgery with toric lens and the astigmatism was about 5 and 1/2 diopter of uh, with the rule pre-existing cylinder I was concerned about amblyopia but I was pleasantly surprised by the lack of it in fact the visual outcome was perfect in that eye 2 weeks later he is undergoing the surgery for the other eye but the astigmatism is much worse in this eye the calculations tell me that he is going to end up with a residual astigmatism of 1 and 1/2 diopter of cylinder since that is the maximum which can be corrected with the Alcon T9 model which has got the highest cylinder correction so my plan is to do incision on the steep axis and hope for some more correction the slit lamp marking is being done with a 26 needle coated with an ink care is taken to rule out any abnormal head tilt The needle is used to puncture up to the antistroma on both the ends of the reference marks at 0 and 180 degrees. So let's start the case. Unfortunately, there is ink which has spread on the the side of marking and become a little bit wider. But the presence of the punctures in the corneal stroma helps us to pinpoint the accuracy for using them as the reference marks. The axis of alignment is marked which is 70 degrees. Temporal incisions for phaco are my routine but in this case I am shifting superiorly and placing my main incision of 2.8 mm centered around the 70 degrees axis. By this I am hoping to induce some flattening on this meridian to reduce the amount of residual astigmatism. Let's see how things work out. I am aiming at 5 mm axis which is centered around the Hirschbeck reflex. Looks to be fine. cortical cleaving hydrodissection is done to loosen up the cortex nucleus complex followed by hydrodelineation aspirating out the soft nucleus in a young patient is very easy very little phaco energy is needed and in a matter of couple of minutes the entire nucleus is aspirated out Similarly, cortex is aspirated out. The posterior capsule is polished with a jet of BSS. hydro implantation of the toric eye will into the bag is being done with the irrigation in my one hand the anti capsule is polished the same thing is repeated on the other side remaining viscoelastic possibly sticking onto the lens is removed by irrigating the under surface of the lens there is significant amount of conjunctival ballooning which is seen here and it's a little bit irritating and it happened because of the posterior incisions 
Now before doing the final alignment, I hydrate all the ports. The final alignment is being done now. Looks to be fine. Hydration of the wounds are done. I wait for a minute just to ensure that the IOL remains on its intended axis. That's it, the case is done and now is the time for the results. This is the first day picture with the refraction and uh, this is a picture at 10 days. The patient has a residual refraction of 1.5 diopter but read 6.6 with the 1 diopter cylinder correction. The pupils are dilated and I'm examining the position of the lens and just ensuring that it is exactly at the axis which I intended to and it does seem to be in the same place, it's at 70 degrees. Well, I think he should be fine with the residual with the rule astigmatism since over the next decade or so, against the rule astigmatism is going to set in hopefully and would counter his residual with the rule astigmatism. But more importantly, I think he's extremely lucky since he did not have any amblyopia in either eye even with this high degree of astigmatism. So that's it. Thank you for watching and hope this helps.